what's up YouTube this is the master stylist and welcome back to my channel today I don't even know I, I, I really didn't even count the vlogmas days I saw people counting like day one day two I don't know I'm just going with the flow but anyway today I am attending a billionaire brunch because <laughs> hey your girl's gonna be a billionaire one day we gonna speak that thing into existence I will be vlogging a little bit throughout the day. Um, my friend is hosting it. She has a various businesses. Um, pretty sure it'll be really informative. So yeah, see you guys later. So today's brunch. It's always good to have people who have an idea and call them like, you know what, this is what I'm thinking about doing. They're like, yes, it is good. They give you the name, they give you the whole, you know, they give you the whole plan. And so thankful for Charisma uh, in our group, like I know that just not for me, I think for all of us, she is that person. So I was like, I think I'm gonna do a brunch for women, business owners. She was like, build me that brunch, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's go. <laughs> I like it, you know, so she always has, um, that extra, you give her, she always, she can always put the flame with the spark. Um, so she gave the name, so I'm forever grateful to her. Um, and so we really want to do this at least once a quarter and focus on a different aspect of this. So it's always going to be the billionaire uh, organization um, housed out of West Palm Beach, but I don't have very many clients locally. I work with uh, national corporate brands. I started uh, in this industry in public relations and then transitioned over to advertising. I've worked with some of the world's most recognizable brands, including Nike, Toyota, Grand Jordan, Sprite, Coca-Cola, and currently I am slowly but surely transitioning into helping corporate brands to uh, work with civic and social. I said well done. And if you're starting your journey, you know what? Get on board. Let's get this thing and get this party started right. So now when we talk about our business, we've been in business for 18 years. Um, I came from a PR background and I was a basketball wife. My husband played in the NBA and we spent time over in Europe as well. So I was thinking about it's hilarious as I watch those TV shows, The Real Housewives, <laughs> NBA Ballers. But I'm like, you're not even a wife, first right. of all. <laughs> you're not a wife, and you're not even a housewife at that. So you're not a basketball wife, nor a housewife. So I'm like, how do you even get to project that imagery when you do well? So I hear you talk about your business and what you all are doing. And you know, you'll go to some networking events and people say, like, oh, I got this card. Okay, then I got that card. I'm gonna go, go that way. Just in 2019, as we reflect and we plan, because we always use December, she talked about us getting back from Iceland. What we do every year December, it's our moment that we take a moment to take a step back and reflect on our business. We think about where we've been and where we're trying. Where the bag is, where the secret. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm like, you know what, where the bag is. If we know, think about it. If you know that God's with everything on this earth, the money ain't not going to fall well, it's not great. Listen. You have got to spend money on this journey. You have got to spend money on this journey. You have got to spend. You cannot think that you're going to get everything that you need on the free in this journey. You have got to pay people to get the resources that you need. That's one of the probably the biggest things that I learned as being an entrepreneur. That I got to pay people to get the information that I need. Like I said, 
said, mainly I want to be, and I'm focusing on being a media mogul. So it's all about the digital platforms, the print platforms, the uh, movie television platforms, but also what's very important to me and probably why Jeanette invited me here, I want us to shine and to be able to stand up with our white counterparts. We should look the part, we should have brands that people are like, okay, I want to do business with them. And another thing that I wrestled with, um, and what I hear a lot from small business owners, specifically black business owners, is that we get very in our mind about, I don't want my business to appear to be a black owned business. And that bugs me, like to my core, it bugs me. And I know why you say it, it's because there are very negative connotations a lot of times with black owned businesses. But I want to help partnership because of me saying yes to this ignorant post gonna potentially say no to twenty thousand dollars. I it's nothing. We have to just make and yes, everything's an opportunity cost. You just have to make a decision what you're gonna say yes to and what you potentially say no to. It's up to you. Because you this your baby. Again, okay. but I'll in the early stages, you got to protect it a little more than you do once you what you people know Trinette. Trinette get on there with some ratchet stuff sometimes. Thank you. I need backup. You said we have a problem. Okay, okay. I need to figure out how to get my ass off. Right. So that was an amazing experience to get some gems dropped about business, about finances, about some things that you need to be that we should be doing as business owners. So that was that was a really amazing experience. Now we are at the outlet mall. Hopefully this is the last of the Christmas shopping because I'm tired of looking at stores. <laughs> But um, yeah. So we had the outlet mall finishing up. What's happening, YouTube? Is Kendra still coming? Yeah, she. Anybody else have to worry about people that's always texting? Are you recording this, bro? I'm trying to hold my hand. <laughs> no, don't you try to hold my hand. I'm trying to hold. Just want to let you guys see how rude he is. Yeah, and um, I'm for that shit, yeah. And it's so rude and so nasty. Yeah, because I'm trying to text my daughter to mom about kids being kidnapped and you always thinking I'm on social media. Troy, sure, what's that? Okay, but you I, I, I screenshot it and post. I, you can't drive either. You can't drive or park. I can drive. No, you cannot drive this truck. I can. I don't like trucks. Oh, you hit it again. I got it light on. So they can see you. They don't need to see me. No, they don't need to see you. They don't need to see me. <laughs> so I'm going to close out this vlog <laughs> today. Um, I'm sorry. I have an asshole on the side of me. But, you know, this is Vlogmas Day. I don't know. Oh, my God, Troy. Man, it was funny. I didn't, I didn't know. This how Troy, shut up. <laughs> Hey, if y'all don't know. <laughs> Try stop. So we're gonna go ahead and close this video out. I'm gonna get a little light on me. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's on me, baby. We're gonna close this one out. You know what I'm saying? She a little mad at me. She don't even wanna look at the camera, but this is Vlogmas Day. And we um we vlogging and shopping. We about to go get us some eat.
some good food and a couple drinks and um you know enjoy each other's company before we get the kids back tomorrow so we wish y'all a safe night safe travels wherever y'all at and we'll keep y'all posted on the next video from the patrick's well you know the master style is gonna let and do with us yeah because this definitely 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 but you know you, you you know you be trying to vlog your family though you know what I'm saying? Don't okay. don't don't, don't act include, Hollywood. You're though. supposed to include your family, uh -huh. but not when family saying rude stuff while you're trying to close you know off. That's love, babe. You know I love me some of you. Sometimes when you ain't mean. See y'all again for the next vlog or tutorial, whichever comes first. Yeah, I'll be cutting hair on the next one. Bitch, please.